Here in my hand is a two meter antenna. You wouldn't think it. This is a innovative product from Ben, VE6 SFX. Occasionally I come across these kind of things and this one was brought to my attention by Ben. He sent me an email and he says, hey, do you wanna check this out? And I'll tell you what, he's done a fantastic job with this. This is what he calls the Faraday antenna. Basically, it's a roll up J-pole antenna. And if I unravel it here, you could see it's made out of this cloth, uh, very, very strong cloth. And it's got this woven into the material, this like metal, well, it's like a metal strip. It's a special kind of metal cloth, I think it is. If you actually go to Ben's YouTube channel, Ham Radio Rookie, he actually explains how he built this and uh, prototyped it and he actually goes through the journey. And now he's making these commercially. And the appealing thing about this is, is you can roll it up, it's lightweight, a really good antenna for portable, um, lightweight soda maybe work as well. Here he's, I think he's uh, done this specially for me, put my call sign on there, so thank you, Ben. There's also here at the bottom a BNC connection, so he's got the BNC there with a 3D printed mold sitting on top with a couple of, looks like uh, hex, uh, hex bolts, or bolts anyway, through, the, through each side of the tape for where the matching is. And basically, you can hang this antenna up from a pole or you can hang it up from a tree or anything like that. Um, and it, it'll it boost your signal on two meters, that's for sure. Some straps here, these end toggles, end straps, these are adjustable, so you can adjust it for the correct length that you want. That if you get the antenna and it's slightly off frequency, so it's a little bit long, for instance, you can shorten it. Uh, I think he tunes these for the bottom end of the two meter band. So all you need to do is actually just adjust the strap and pull the pull the tape through like this and you can actually adjust the frequency up and down, which is rather cool. Now, as I said, this thing, all you can do is you can just roll it up like this. It's very flexible. Um, it uses hardly any room whatsoever. So if you're doing like soda trips or soda summits and you're carrying a big unwieldy antenna, then you might wanna consider getting one of these. And in actual fact, it'll be much, much better than your handheld whip on the top of your handheld, if that's all you bring, for instance. If you bring a small squid pole or something like that, a telescopic pole to the top of a mountain, then you could just hook this over the top and away you go. You've got an antenna that's elevated off the ground, run some coax to it and away you go. I'm just gonna measure the how heavy this thing is so in grams, it only weighs 36 grams. Uh, for my US viewers, that is 1.27 ounces. Ben does make a note and say that if it's not straight and it does blow around in windy conditions and the signal can go up and down, you can get some QSB, probably the tuning might be affected, but if you keep it nice and straight, it should work uh, a lot better. You can also maybe just put a little weight off the bottom here and just hang it vertically. Um, I guess you could even, if you wanted to, you could also hang it horizontally too if you wanted to um, maybe do some SSB work or something if you strung it between two points. So this bit here with the feed point, this is ABS, uh, 3D printed ABS. So it will handle um, the uh, hot, sun for a long time, uh, the same too with these hooks that are on the top too, so you, they're not gonna melt. And this tape that he uses, that's what it is, it's, it's, it's woven tape in here that is stitched in um, to this material, and you can see there that that is gonna take a lot of flexing before it breaks. That is really, really strong. And even if it's raining or something like that, all you need to do is just crumple it up and throw it in the pack. So uh, you don't even have to fold it up. It looks like it can take quite a bit of um, abuse. So this is a, a really cool, I like to see innovation in ham radio and Ben's done a fantastic job with this. So he's selling these currently for about $75. They have gone out of stock really, really quickly because they've become so popular. But if you uh, subscribe on his page, which will be linked below, you can actually subscribe for a stock alert if you uh, want to get one and he doesn't have them. Okay, so this is a bit of a ridiculous test. I've just strung it up in the doorway here and it's kind of just laying down a little bit of coax here into the analyzer and 
It's like 1.3 to 1 at 144 megs. If I go up a little bit higher, 146 around where our repeaters are, it's 1.6. So that's not too bad, just uh, hearing the shack strung up in the door. And um, I usually struggle to get into my repeaters from down here in the shack. So with this hooked up, S9, or at least on the Kenwood, it's full scale. So what I've done is I've just hooked it on top of the DX commander pole, just straight over the top, short length of coax. It's not very high above the top of the ground here. That works. Okay, 7HH testing. testing. So I'm getting into our local repeater okay. Let's try another one. Another repeater. So Ben's not wrong, you do need to hold it pretty straight to get some decent tuning. If you get any sort of bends in it, you see, look, as soon as I let go of the coax, the SWR goes up. So that's okay because you can have a, a weight or secure it at the bottom, but it's pretty flat across two meters, if you can see that, 148 down to 144. I've even just hung it up here in the window. Um, the repeater usually gets a little bit noisy just here in the lounge. But look at that, it's noise free. I'm gonna try this on my DX commander pole a little bit higher on my next soda activation and uh, hook it up to my handheld or maybe my 705 to get a little bit of extra range. Uh, much more lightweight than some of my other antennas that I've got. I got an arrow antenna uh, that I used on my last summits on the air activation. So I think that this is going to be good for that compromise where I want something that's lightweight, um, but that's gonna get me, uh, get my signal out a little bit more.